Open Health Desk presented to you by Mount Sinai. I am your host, Shauna Ryan, and joining us today is Dr. Human Khorasani. He's Assistant Professor of Dermatology at the Icon School of Medicine, as well as Chief of the Division of Mohs Reconstructive and Cosmetic Surgery in the Department of Dermatology at the Mount Sinai Hospital. Doctor, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you, Shauna. Good to be here. Well, in the game of tennis, dermatology is actually just as important as, let's say, stretching or strength training. What are some of the overarching issues you would say that players really should be concerned with? Um, absolutely. It's an outdoor game, number one. Obviously, sun protection is huge um, to protecting yourself from UV radiation. What kind of damage can the sun actually do to your face and body? And have you actually seen an increase in incidences because of sun damage? Beside uh, the obvious uh, uh, in increased incidence of of skin cancer, which is actually a huge uh, public health issue now in the U.S. It is the absolute number one fastest growing cancer in men and uh, number two in women. Only lung cancer um, it has a, is, is growing faster in women. So it's a huge public health problem. And of course, uh, tennis is, a, again, uh, you're exposed to it every day. So it's very important to know exactly what to do and how to protect your skin. So what are some of your suggestions to protect yourself from too much sun exposure? Protective clothing, I think, it's always, uh, in my opinion, number one in athletes. Trying to have a um, hat is very important, but also trying to remember to reapply your sun if you're outdoors, and especially if you're sweating. Uh, I always get a question is like what you should use in terms of cream, sprays. Yes, it's one better uh, than the other. Do you have yeah. to reapply one more than the other? It's mm -hmm. always better to use what works for you. Uh, I always tell my men patients that are on average a little bit more uh, lazy to put skin screen on than women to use sprays because it's just easier you, uh -huh. um, and it's a little bit quicker mm -hmm. and you don't have to rub it in as much. The most important thing is not the how uh, the number of the SPF oh, really? is how often you are reapply it. Okay? So if you're outdoors running around playing tennis or you're in the in a in a swimming pool, of course you should be reapplying it every twenty to thirty minutes. If you're out about and walking around in the city, maybe reapplying it and every hour or so will be sufficient. I see. Just because you have a SPF of 100 doesn't mean that you can just put that on Once in the and morning then forget about it. and then forget about it. But is there a minimum SPF that you feel like people should at the very least have on hand? Yeah, we usually um, talk about SPF 30. Okay. Uh, some, some physicians feel like 45, but I think as long as you have anything over 30, that should cover you pretty good. Today's definitely at least a 30 day, I would say, at the very least in this kind yeah, of sun. Yeah, I mean, you're a perfect candidate for unfortunately. melanoma, unfortunately. <laughs> very much so. So, someone like me is actually also a very good candidate for skin exams, but really everyone should be doing a skin exam, correct? Absolutely. The most common type of skin cancer is actually non-meloma skin cancer, which, uh, you know, the majority of Americans in their lifetime will develop non-melanoma skin cancer, mm -hmm. which tend to not be lethal at all times, but they can certainly be destructive and form, you know, uh, very disfiguring at times. Mm -hmm. Oh, such important issues. Dr. Korsani, thank you so much for coming by today and help of keep course. your skin very healthy. We appreciate it. Thank nice you so much. You. And don't forget to check out usopen.org throughout the entire tournament for more great information from the staff at Mount Sinai. Until next time, I'm your host, Shauna Ryan. We'll see you right here on the US Open Health Desk presented to you by Mount Sinai.